So hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to another program, Wednesday night program with South Bay Soaring Society. And I'm excited today to have Mike Jago, who's one of our new members. And he's been posting videos online. I'm going to put a link to his, uh, his YouTube channel. Um, but I saw the production quality and the, and the subject matter was perfect for a bunch of nerds like us. And particularly, they were interesting to me because I've, I used to fly a Weasel Pro. In fact, I, I, my proudest moment in soaring is I sold my old Weasel Pro to uh, Bob McGowan. So that gives me some real bragging points. Um, but I did know that programming the ailerons and elevator, which is called an, an Eavon or Evon, you'll tell us, um, it was very tricky. And I never quite really figured out how it all went together. But I did know that if you made a little glitch, you're going to go right into the, the slope. So I, I've always been interested in that. And I've also been interested in really understanding your radio rather than use a CAN program from somebody else or from like Sherman Knight or somebody, because if you can't fiddle with it in the field, you'll never tune it right. And if it goes, if something changes or you switch a servo, you'll never get it fixed um, in, in any uh, reasonable time. So Mike, I'm gonna pass the screen to you and um, you can take it away with the introduction. Hi guys. So. Um... This, uh, this is a little flying wing that I, a kit I purchased from microbirds.com. And unfortunately it's no longer available. Um, I believe the problem is that uh, Lee, the designer was using Depron foam for the fuselage and uh, the kits that he sold when I bought it had this sort of bubble foam and he's had trouble with them and I've had trouble with them. Um, and so unfortunately it's no longer available. It's a small plane, it's 32 inch wingspan, uh, flying weight of about 94 grams and about two ounces per square foot wing loading. So I want to, in my little video, I try and talk about a logical way to set up the elevons. And um, when I put my plane together and turned on elevons, nothing was right. In other words, the ele uh, elevator was backwards and the ailerons were backwards. And this was before I joined uh, South Bay Soaring Society. So I jumped on the internet and the best I could do was find a video out of the UK where the guy said, oh, well, just keep swapping things until it works. And that wasn't much uh, <laughs> of a process that I wanted to follow. I did go back to Hobby King and ask their help desk if they had a procedure and I got more or less the same uh, response. Uh, so after some thought, uh, I developed the process that's in the video. I don't know if it's the only way to do this uh, and I'm sure welcome comments on it. And um, I, I believe that there are four cases that you can face when you power your radio up to a flying wing. One is that everything is correct. The ailerons and the elevator work in the correct direction and you really have no problems. The other situation is the situation I found myself in where they were, everything was wrong. Cases three and four would be your ailerons are right but your elevator's wrong or your uh, elevator's right and your ailerons are wrong. And so, my video takes you through a logical process uh, to sort that problem out. And uh, at the end of this video, if you have any comments, uh, let's talk about it. Well, um, um, Mike, would you show us your latest uh, flying wing? Uh, oh, <laughs> sure. Uh, so I've just finished up in Alula and uh, I'm try and get it all in the picture there. Um, I great, did find a great beak on that thing. <laughs> Sorry, it's a great beak on that thing. <laughs> yeah, I found uh, on the internet uh, somebody who had used marker pens to create a red tailed hawk, and I really liked it. So I had a go at it myself. It's not perfect. Uh, the, the shoulder wings, uh, feathers here are a little bit bumpy. But anyway, I, I was quite pleased with the way it turned out. I've still got a maid in this plane. Uh, so, 
Hi guys, I'm going to set up elevons on this flying wing. After trying and failing, I looked around the internet for a method. I didn't find any approaches other than keep swapping things until it works type of approach. I really don't like that sort of approach and in this video I want to suggest a logical procedure that will enable you to easily set up your wing or VTAIL plane. This is a new radio for me and I've been out of the hobby for something like 20-25 years. I've just picked up RC flying again. I have a six channel lemon receiver in this plane but all we are controlling here are the elevons, ailerons and elevators mixed together. The radio has a standard program for elevons using channel 1 and 2. As it is right now out of the box, it's set up with a 50% mix on both channels. The final output of channel 1 equals channel 1 plus channel 2, and the output on channel 2 equals channel 2 minus channel 1. That's all visible in the transmitter. So basically, my approach is to start with the elevon mode turned off. I then want to identify which servo is activating the ailerons as the aileron master and likewise confirm which one is the elevator master. I then move on to look at the servo directions and finally I look at the mixing. I found this to be a straightforward logical method. Let me turn the radio on. We've connected to the receiver and the radio is set up with elevon functions turned off. We're ready to test and see which surfaces are controlled by which servo. Clearly here the aileron master is controlled on this side and the elevator is controlled on the right hand side. So now let's look at the direction each servo is moving, just as you would do for a standard airplane. Look at the direction if I move the stick to the right. Clearly, the aileron master is moving in the wrong direction. And if I pull back on the stick, I'm going to climb, and if I push forward on the stick, I'm going to dive. So the elevator servo is moving correctly. So let's go and adjust the aileron servo so that it moves in the correct direction. Here I am in the servo setup, and I can reverse the aileron servo. Let's back out of here. I still have Elevon switched off. A retest shows the aileron servo is moving in the correct direction. And a recheck on the elevator. When I pull back, the nose is still going to come up. And when I push forward, the nose is going to dive. OK, so now we're ready to turn on the Elevon function. I'm set up channel 1 and channel 2 at 50%, the standard formula. Moving the stick to the right, I can see I'm going to lift this wing and go to the right. That's perfect. And when I pull back, the nose is going to come up. And when I push forward, it's going to dive. So as simple as that, I've set up the flying wing. Now I'm going to go through the setup again where the outcome is that you need to use minus 50% in the Elevon mix to make it work. And I'll do this by swapping the servo leads on the receiver. I'm going to put ailerons onto channel 2 and the elevator on channel 1. Now we're ready to go with the second setup. Elevons are turned off. When I move the aileron stick, the right-hand servo is now controlling the aileron function. So the right-hand side now is the aileron master. And when I pull back on the stick, the left-hand side is clearly the elevator master. Now we're going to check the direction of the servos. I'm going to continue to focus on the aileron first. If I look at that motion of the aileron, I can see that it must be reversed. In fact, when I look here and pull back on my stick, the elevator servo is also backwards. Let's go to the servo setup and reverse the aileron servo on channel 1. Checking what we have done, we move the aileron stick to the right 
and the lift on the right hand wing is being broken by the aileron coming up and that wing is going to drop and the left hand wing will lift up and it will swing around to the right. Checking the elevator, it is still wrong, but we're going to fix that by changing the mix to minus 50% on channel 2. So we go into the model setup and go down to elevons and set elevons to on. And if we check it right now, we will see that the aileron motion is correct. But checking the elevator, we can see that that part of the equation is still wrong. So let's go into the aileron setup. You've always got to watch pretty carefully what you do here. Okay, channel 2, we want to reduce this to minus 50%. Having done that, let's make a final check. If I move the aileron to the right, I want the plane to swing to the right. I've got lift on the left hand wing and broken lift on the right wing. When I pull back on the stick, this plane is going to go up. And when I push forward on the stick, it's going to dive. So there you have it. This is a sequence that at least makes sense to me. The first way I did it, where the aileron channel is in channel 1, uh, is the right way to start your setup. But if your aeroplane is in some other setup, as you've seen in the second setup, we can resolve it by following these steps. First, we determined which server was acting as the aileron master. We checked the aileron and elevator directions and found them both wrong. We then go to elevon setup and change the elevator server to be a minus 50% mix. I hope this gives you a straightforward and logical path through the setup of Elevons, and it should also work for retail mixing. I'd welcome any comments. Thanks.